Hi y'all, Lucilla. Hope everybody's okay. Um, with the UK, America and all over the other side of the world that you are um, impacted with these storms, earthquakes. I'm so sorry um, that this is happening. That people that are affected, my thoughts and prayers and blessings go out to you guys. Okay, um, my topic... I think that needs to be brought to air here in Oz, Australia, uh, is the fact that we have two payments uh, for the unemployment that will be finishing uh, within a matter of months. And um, I don't really understand how the government is being upfront and transparent about anything when they actually say a couple of months ago that they were actually going to get the economy up and running and of course uh, the economy uh, would be now kick-started and you'd see life somewhere that where where we you know people are now earning a dollar and able to stand on their own two feet but that's not the case and I don't know how the government can announce that it's only been well a couple of weeks since we've been returned back to quote remodified freedom or quote normal to what it is now modified freedom normal but return back to normal and so the thing is then they announce um, with that uh, the economy was going to, you know, be kick-started by, you know, industrials and industry here in Australia was going to get up and running with trades and apprenticeships and whatever else and that would open opportunities for a lot of people and I don't see how because, to be quite honest, people aren't on their feet. They aren't on their feet. They are now impacted worse than ever because even though the restrictions have eased, the uncertainty now of the end of the year approaching quite quickly with unemployment lines endless, they are, and to hear people now say that they've got another added burden by having these payments cut by the government in the next couple of months. And the government says that there will be jobs available for these people. I, I, I don't see how, I don't see how the government's being upfront and transparent about anything because they announced that they're actually they're going to get the economy up and running by trades and apprentice, you know, whatever else they announced a couple of weeks ago. And then they announced that, okay, it's time to cut these payments. Government, I don't think you're actually listening to the people. If you were, you would be more sensitive to the thought that people are now more so impacted than ever. And suffering more now than ever. And they will be after these payments are cut. And see, the thing is, for people to return back to work too, they've got to have the peace of mind that if they've got little ones and so forth, how are they going to go to work, earn the money and pay the bills? Well, that's going to be hard because they've got to, they've got to pay for childcare. Where the Premier down in Victoria has said that childcare is going to be available uh, for everybody to return back to work without one dollar. Um, you know, not one dollar, they don't have to pay for childcare, it's free. Here in New South Wales, people, well, them to return back to work, they've got that added burden that they've got to find a childcare and then they've got to have that second added burden that 
they got that job and enough money in that job with the wages to be able to meet all the overheads before they even think that they're doing all right. You know, saving a dollar. So I don't see how government, how you are offering anything to people out there on the unemployment lines. You haven't thought about anything. You haven't been transparent. You haven't been forthcoming on anything. You're dodging bullets. And what I mean by that is you announced so many things over the last couple of weeks, it's mind dazzling. But you don't have any. And what I can see and other people I talk to say you don't have any real backup. You don't have any plans to open the economy apart from, okay, well, it's good. You know, you've got your investments in this um, a vaccine. That's wonderful. But when will that be, really? Be honest to the people. You say, oh, it'd be nice to think, nine, you know, 2021. No, well, that's a bit of a joke, isn't it? 2024, more like it. So be more transparent with the people and how and what you expect is going to happen when everybody's been cut off these payments and people are left to defend for themselves because you say there's enough jobs out there. What, go and pick some fruit somewhere for a year huh, is your solution. You hold no solutions for any other business owners either to get back on their feet and to be able to have the second part of their business, which is employing people, knowing that they can employ new people so they can grow their star, they can grow their business. Even with that, you don't do that. You haven't thought of that. You haven't thought of the small fry at all. It's all talk, government, and really it is, people, if you think about it. What have they announced? You know, they're, what? Relaxing the regular, you know, rules and regulations of this COVID, and you know, um, like, well, the payments will be cut in the next couple of months, you know, but before that, before they announce that these two payments for the unemployment will be cut, they turn around and say, "We've got a plan to open the economy." Remember, you know, we've apprenticeships and trades and whatever else well there's been no more talk about that at all and then to turn around and have the hide to turn around and say they're going to be cutting these payments because there's jobs out there I don't think so and I don't think personally the government's been honest about anything they're not transparent at all they're not forthcoming with what they're doing they're messing with people's lives and bloody brains for that matter, really. So, and then we've got the added burden of when winter comes back on, this COVID, it's just laying dormant in the heat. That's all it's doing, just laying dormant. It's still around, but not as bad because it's laying dormant. But in winter, well, you know, we're gonna be hit again with this virus, worse than ever. So it's the chase the tail as we go. But anyway, one other thing, guys, is thunderstorm asthma. If you're getting asthma and so forth, which I got a bit today, and I thought to myself, oh. so there's things around and with the winds and whatever else, do be careful, asthma, uh, people that suffer with asthma. Remember your puppers, do it right, have it with you. You know, if you feel bree and a wheezy, or that sort of thing, come inside because, as I said, there's lots of pollens and whatever else that people are experiencing myself also. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this too, okay, because I think we need to really rattle the chains of the government. And uh, I think the people uh, from, you know, the farmers, they need to rattle the government's chain also on a few matters. So I hope you really enjoyed this tube. Look after yourself till next time. Like, subscribe and comment. And what's my four codes, everybody? Okay, I'm going to say them. Respect, dignity, honour and integrity. Those four will serve you well. 
and also faith. But until next time, look after yourself. Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.